Hey guys, this is a Tech Yet Games After Show. Yeah, welcome. I'm Tony. This is uh, Leo, my handsome companion oh, right thank here. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's so nice. Oh, I am very nice, actually. And uh, today we're going to talk about Resident Evil. Yeah, so we're continuing our series of video game movies. Now, as you probably know, there's been a shitload of Resident Evil movies. A lot of Resident Evil movies. We decided it'd be interesting to watch the latest one, which I figured was like, I don't know, 2009? 2009, yeah. yeah. Turns out, 2016, a mere yeah. three years ago, is was- called Resident Evil The Final Chapter. I actually think this might have launched in January 2017. Yeah, so this was very surprising. <laughs> yeah, like I was, yeah, I was yeah. shocked at how recent it was. So for those of you who don't know or haven't followed, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. I'm uh, not. Not the movies. I mean, I like them, but I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I have been since I was very young. And I remember when the first Resident Evil movie came out, I enjoyed it despite it being much more action-focused than horror. Um, and then after that, I remember seeing the second one, and they just went balls to the wall action and just completely stopped giving a shit at all about balls the Balls out. Yeah. <laughs> And it sucked. So this one was interesting to see. I'll let you start. What did you think? I did not like this movie. Really? Yeah, I thought it was a real shitty movie. (laughs) Well, (laughs) I think it's kind of objectively a shitty movie. Yeah, I I feel like um, the thing I really didn't like is... How shitty it was? Well, how shitty it was, (laughs) but it was like... It's the main thing. It wasn't that fun. You know, like it wasn't like a... uh, you know, like we watched DOA last week, which is also a shitty movie. Yeah. But it was joyful in its shittiness. Like, yeah. in its, like, and it looks like it was made in the 90s, but yeah. made in 2010 shitty or 27, 2007 yeah. shittiness. Right. And this movie was not, this movie was heavy in its shittiness and, um, and kind of like, uh, trying to be kind of heady and gross in some ways. And, um, it kind of reminded me of like Resident Evil's writing where it's like, you know, oh no, this is some like sinister deep shit and like, you know, here's fucking Alice computer, but now she's like good, right? She's not bad. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Like it had these kind of moments of, of like, uh, I don't know, trying to have like real plot, but yeah, you know what I mean? But it just seemed uh, sort of misplaced. Uh, yeah. I think that analysis like compared to the games, which is nothing like the games, the games do have shitty writing and are stupid in a lot of ways, but especially the old ones, it's very charming. And yeah, it can't be because they were like, oh, shit, we got to come up with a story for all this. Yeah. And the games are so good that it almost doesn't matter. To, in the movie, I agree, kind of lean into that. But at the same time, the movie was remarkably shitty. Like, the script sucks ass. The script's really bad. To the point where it feels very amateurish, where it was like, and I was saying this earlier, it seems like Paul Anderson, who directed it, and has directed all of them, so I think he he probably writes pretty fast at this point. I think he like went home after getting the deal signed and wrote the script in like six hours because he's like, it doesn't matter what I write. I get to direct it. I've, we've done a million of these. My yeah. wife is a star. Um, I'm just going to do another one. And it kind of felt like that. On the one hand, that's shitty and lame. It felt very rushed. On the other hand, it was like directed pretty well yeah in like from a technical perspective it was pretty polished more so than i think the subject matter deserved and i think that's the other side of the fact they've done 50 million of these movies is he's like oh yeah another one no problem let me just call the everyone i know and we'll just do another one it was cool looking like the missile truck things were cool with the machine gun you know what, that's I, mean? what I mean like, like it was surprisingly yeah. well made from a technical perspective when she's riding her motorcycle funny. through the explosions yeah. all days of thunder i was like, like it I was, didn't look bad no it, was it cool. looked better than you'd expect yeah. certainly better than i would have thought and i think part of that's because they've made so many they've just gotten good at making them mm-hmm. the downside is they didn't try very hard no it was kind of just like same shit Which brings me to the other interesting thing, which was if you've seen the first one and then this one, you don't have to see any of the other ones. Like these are the only two, as far as I know, that are connected at all in any Mm. meaningful way. And this is in some ways like a remake. She goes back to the same place that the first one takes place, which is the weirdest fucking lab ever. Like why is it designed like that? And in some ways it did feel like a video game in that it made no sense logically in that the writing was shitty you don't think lab should have secret vent trap doors that dump you onto like jagged rocks what or giant fans that you have to jump through for no reason the funniest part is it doesn't just dump you onto jagged rocks it dumps you onto a vent and then that vent then slowly opens 
And then you can grab onto your fingertips, and it'll close and cut your fingertips off. Yeah, they a lot of fingers get cut off. A lot of movie. yeah, a lot of digits, a lot of losing. Or what about the laser room where it's? So that's in the first one. Yeah, I remember well, yeah, that. I flashback. remember that. View yeah, that's all anyone remembers about. Well, it. Well, they had it in this one too. But yeah, yeah they do a flashback. Yeah. Um, so it was weird, like retread of the first one, and I, it's funny because I don't know how many there's been. I think there's been like four or five other ones, if not more. And as far as I know, they're all completely pointless now. Yeah. So you don't have to see any of them. If you feel like you really want to get the sense of what the Resident Evil movies are, watch the first one, which is okay, and then watch this one, which is shitty, and you kind of get the gist. Yeah, I feel like there were some like moments there where it could have like kind of leaned into some of these character types to to kind of like have some fun with with like the absurdity of it. Yeah. Like like when they first showed Wesker and he's like standing in front of the screens and stuff like. Like just to say some like cheese cheesy ass yeah, like, like what villain West, lines, like what right? Yeah, like Wesker would games. say, right? Yeah. Um, but instead, he's just very like, okay, well, let's search the premises and you know, uh, call it in the spot. Yeah, you know what it's fucking like, lame. You're like, oh, you're just like a regular ass fucking bad guy. Yeah. You know, and and generic bad guy. Generic ass bad guy. And even the main character Alice, who's been in all of them, uh, she has no personality to speak of. She's like, she's cool and very strong, and that's all we know about her. She's the least cool, cool chick that ever yeah. existed. Right? She like pulls off these miraculous moves. She has when, no personality. Well, and what None. really fucking, what drives me nuts, right? What's driving me nuts the whole time about her, right? Is she is literally an indestructible killing machine, yeah. right? She is fighting a giant zombie jumps out of the water. She's drinking from the for, water. For no no reason comes flying out of the water pins her down and she just starts punching him in his fucking face and wins the fight right that's, uh, that scene right there yeah, actually that scene right she wins the fight like un like just unprepared and well she's he got just, stuck like, on barbed wire she's like bang. oh yeah his leg stuck and she's just like fuck you and she just hits him right mm -hmm. and like uh she gets caught in a booby trap and like with her leg pinned fucking kung fu's like nine guards steals their guns and shoots guards her. guards that were just hiding and yeah for in some reason, in round things, whatever like tires, yeah, yeah. tires and shit, right? She fucks up all these guards, but then like when she's fighting, okay, then she's tied up, right? And she's and she takes out the guards that are there when she's tied up, and she fights the the main bad dude. I don't remember or, his well, name. one of them. I don't remember his name. I don't think he had a name. So he's like this religious, like zombie religion bad guy, right? Like like the pr zombie That's preacher, really pretty much it, right? And so she's kicking his ass with her hands tied up. Right, and then she gets her hands free, and kind of gets the uh, like over on him, and then he just starts fucking her up. Somehow, like he's just like, no, no, I'm tougher than you. Yeah, you know, and then, like now it's a fair fight. It's like, no, your hands are free now. Like, finish this dude. But don't you think that like what you just described sounds like a video game? Like in a way, it is it a very like, video game movie, and that it, it doesn't like make the sense. Shit I hate logically. the most about yeah. video games. No, right? totally. It's the part I think I think that's totally fair, but it does feel like when you're watching this movie, it feels like you're watching a shitty video game, which is weird. But it's in some ways, like, me the most nuts about video games. When you're just winning totally the fight fair. in all yeah. these like terrible predicaments, and you finally get the one-on-one -on -one with the yeah. bad guy whose ass you've kicked, like from in yeah. from every terrible angle, and it's like, oh, now we can now square up, is. and he just fucks you up. Yeah, but even like the way it's laid out, like the way nothing makes any sense. No. How it's only you're only powerful when it matters. Like the whole, it feels like a video game in the worst way. Which is funny because this has nothing to do with the video game. Yeah. So the reason I like the older Resident Evils and and to some degree Five, which is kind of more like this but still pretty well made, um, is that they're they're very slow, paced mm -hmm. and methodical, and you're very powerless. It's all about solving puzzles and and being very powerless and having to conserve ammo. Um. Which is the opposite of this. No. In almost every conceivable way, this is the opposite. And the, the one we have over here on the other side, which I don't know if you can see very well, is Resident Evil 6, which is widely considered the worst of the main line, mm. for sure, because it's much more like the movies. So and I don't know if it was inspired by the movies or if that's just the direction it went in, but when Resident Evil tries to do super hardcore action, it's not a good look. It's a real Because the fan. reason Resident Evil works is because it's scary and it's slow and it's methodical and calculated. Uh, not because the writing's good. Writing's never been good. It was so bad. Like, when they went to the uh, encamp encampment with all the people or the, the skyscraper where all the, like... Yeah, we're just and, there. And when she meets the girl, the mechanic girl, yeah, she's like, where'd you learn to do this? It's like, oh, my dad owned a chop shop. I guess I was paying attention or something. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up, yeah, man. It's, just, it's like, like I said, it's like a first draft of a script. Like, come on with that shit, right? Like, 
Yeah. Like, you don't have to be this person. You can just be like... Well, she does because that's her job. But you can just be like, yeah, my dad owned a, a, a chop shop, fine. And it's like, and I, I learned some stuff. Yeah, I learned to weld. Well, that's it, what I'm saying, man. Like, it's like he wrote you know, the script and no one checked it for him. Yeah. And he was like, all right, I think this is good enough. Let's go shooting. Yeah, my dad owned a shop, so I learned welding and, you know, some some uh, mechanic skills. And uh, so I'm trying to use them the best I can here. Yeah, and I think I can do a lot of good here. Yeah. And, and she's I, like, you know what? That's really cool. Yeah. I, I'll probably be able to use your help later. Yeah, so she's just like, you know, my dad owned a chop shop. and yeah. uh, It's not good. Guess bad I was, script. I guess I picked up a couple things. It's a really bad script that was like remarkably competently made, but it's still shitty. It's still shitty. And also, <laughs> the thing that really got me, it, it, this still is from that part. Yeah, there's a lot of shitty So parts. for one, when they run out to get the lady. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, no, like, don't. It's so stupid. It, obviously, this ain't going to work out. And for Open two, the gate! Yeah. Close the gate! <laughs> <laughs> right? But then... They're like, fall back to the barricades. And they go to the barricades. And these things, as soon as the zombies get to them, they start knocking them over and pushing through it. Yeah. You're just like, what are these fucking, like, why did you even set up these barricades? Yeah. They're not stopping jack shit. Well, to be fair, they had like six hours or whatever. Or like clock or ticking clock. Still. <laughs> so stupid. Just never open. No, the movie, it's like I said, the movie does not make, it doesn't hold up to even a remote level of scrutiny. Like, when she falls out of the vent, like, yeah. all the vents flip open, yeah, and they all f- get sucked into random rooms for some fucked up yeah, reason. Like, yeah, like, why did they just go Yeah, because, like, the one guy falls, which makes no sense. We're like, I guess maybe it's just a fucked up vent. And yeah. then all of a sudden, they all get, like, knocked into other rooms through the ventilation system. Like, um, random boss fight she, rooms for some reason. Well, that's what I'm saying. It yeah. felt like a video game. Like, when she falls in and gets up, and she's like, oh, I'm in a weird room. Oh, shit, there's a monster. It was like a game, but a shitty game. And she kicks the monster's ass, just a heads up. She kicks a lot of ass in this movie. Yeah, I mean, I will say I like that she kicks so much ass. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, like I said, it's commonly made. Like, if you want to see, uh, you know, a cool chick beat the shit out of a lot of zombies. And to be fair, I think that's all these movies have ever tried to be. Yeah. And I could totally see someone like, for example, people who really like Fast and the Furious. Um, I always thought they sucked and were stupid, but I could totally see someone liking these movies for the same reason. Like, A, they've been around forever. Mm-hmm. Like, if you grew up watching the first one, I could see how you'd still be like, oh, it's so cool to see a new one. They're, of course, they're bad, but they're fun. Yeah. I could totally see someone making that case. I don't think they're trying to be, again, nowhere near as bad as Max Payne. Um, oh, because, not nearly Because at bad. least it's like, it knows what it is. Yeah, not nearly as bad as Max Payne. So I could see someone being like, I love those movies, they're fun. Um, I could see someone that was a fan of this. Yeah, and, and yeah. like I said, they've been around forever. So, all right. That's now kind of my time. two cents. Yeah. The moment of truth. How many tech yes out of ten tech yes? Fuck! I always get caught up on this. I should think about it ahead of time, but I never do. I'm gonna give this one five because it was stupid, <laughs> but it wasn't the stupidest. I guess it's funny. I think our barometer is getting like really skewed the more these we watch, yeah. which is kind of why we're doing it. But like. I keep thinking not if it's a good movie. It's not. None of these are good movies. But how bad was it compared to the others? Yeah. I definitely enjoy this one more than some of the other ones I have. Uh, I did not ever find myself like, oh, you know, hey, I'm actually kind of having fun with this one. Maybe very briefly. So a five feels fair to me. Give it a four. Yeah, that's, that's I think, I almost gave it a four. Yeah, I, I think it was, I think it was fine. I think it was cool looking at times. I think watching the fights and stuff was fun in moments. I, I think the the moments I liked were where, she was basically bamboozling everyone and they kind of had this like Baba Yaga, yeah. John Wick fear of her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which I thought was neat. Like when, when she was tied up behind the truck and she like disappeared for a minute and everyone's like, oh shit. And then she just fucks everybody up. Like, well, it, it, Yeah, it's that same video game thing of like you always feel if you're one of the guards and you have to watch Alice, which yeah. is her name. Like if someone's like, all right, go watch Alice with that other guy. I'd be like, fuck you. Yeah. No. Let's you know how many the, people let's she's just, fucking killed? Let's just lock the room today? and right here with the zombies, please. Yeah, like for God's sakes, just let her die. Yeah, it's very Baba Yaga, right? It's yeah. very much like, like, why did you stole her dog? You know, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And, um, and if someone were to be like, Alice, what, what, what happened? She'd be like, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't yeah. fucking know. It's know. been like 15 years since the first one. Yeah. I guarantee you, they don't remember what happened in the first one either. Yeah, so I really en- I, I enjoyed that part of it. The rest of the movie, though, I was not I wasn't into. I would say, in some ways, I liked watching DOA more not because it was a better movie, but because it was very lighthearted yeah. and kind of um, like pervy said, it was a little, and lighthearted. It was a little more dumb, joyful, you know what I mean? And joyful and dumb, which I found um, more enjoyable than this. That was kind of trying to be 
like I said, like I don't like horror movies. Yeah. So in a sense, like seeing kind of the gory, like oh scary monsters kind of thing, like doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. And outside of that, there was very little of value. I think in this movie. Yeah, I think that's totally fair to say. Yeah. And I think if you're a big fan of the franchise. It's almost again. It's one of those things where it's almost worse in some ways. Yeah, because it's so like, too. hey, Claire Redfield's in this movie, I guess. But why? Why she's not Claire Redfield? Like that's what I mean. Like, yeah, like there's a few things here and there, but but especially this one, they've gotten so far away from the games they don't even try like no. at all, really. Her, she's only Claire by name. Yeah, you know, and the fact that this was all some secret plot by Alice the computer. But that's actually her. Spoilers. That's actually yeah, it's actually her, but it's actually the old lady too. To but she wasn't even an old lady. She just had progeria, which yeah. is not what happens. You no. don't turn into an old person. And the whole thing was to somehow poison the world, but also cure the world after you killed them. Yeah, you know, all I can't, you need is like this much. Yeah, to like, so you just drop it on the ground and it heals everyone. That's what I'm saying. So the movie doesn't even pretend to make an ounce no, of sense. No. And like, yeah, no, I, I, we don't need it. <laughs> we could go on, but... I don't need to explain why this movie doesn't make any fucking sense. I'd be curious if any of you guys have seen all of them, which one you think is the best or how this one holds up because I have no memory of the other ones yeah, except maybe, the first one vaguely. Maybe if we knew of the whole... I don't think so. The whole backstory. In fact, I'm quite certain they made this so that the rest of the movies just don't have to exist. Retcon the whole fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, basically. That's kind of what it felt like. It almost felt like a reboot. Well, anyway. let us know. What did you think of Resident Evil, the final chapter? The final chapter. Do you uh, think it really will be the final chapter? I hope so. <laughs> um, let us know what you think. Are we wrong? Are we right? Are we handsome? Are we not handsome? Let us know in the comments. Uh, go to techyoutpodcast.com. Find all of our wonderful work, all of our previous videos, our podcast. It's a good podcast. Yeah. We just we just recorded a, a humdinger of an episode. A real banger. That shit slaps. All right? It slaps. It slaps. Play that shit in your car. All <laughs> Turn the ladies, it up. All the ladies going to be coming <laughs> when they hear that shit, when they hear our sultry tones. Uh, with that, we love you. Thanks for uh, watching. We appreciate you. Go play some games and go watch some movies. Thanks. Have fun.